Good afternoon. I'm joined here by two of my little girls, uh, little Eleanor and little Emma. Uh, little Emma is the uh, Lee sculpt, and uh, I, I really love this little girl. She's wearing a really pretty little sweater, kind of a pale pink, and um, her little sleeper has little pink and lavender flowers with yellow. Uh, very cheerful little sleeper. I love putting my babies in, in these cozy, comfy clothes and this kind of clothes. So there's little Emma and she's sound asleep right now. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And also to my subscribers, welcome for joining me. I mean, thank you for joining me. Um, I love this hobby and today was kind of a gloomy blustery day outside so I thought it'd be a perfect day to come and make a video so I've got little Emma I'll put Emma over here oh, yes I wish I had a changing table but I don't so I just have fun just changing my dollies I do it right on the bed which works really well um, and I've got little Eleanor here and she's the April Sculpt and um, by Adri Stoetti and I adopted her about two months ago in July and I love her little face. Um, she was reborn by Old Fashioned Reborns um, on Reborns.com that's where I bought her, uh, bought her and I love the little her face. I think her artist did a beautiful job. She uses air dry paints and uh, uh, look at her beautiful eyes. They're kind of a sky blue. Gorgeous. And uh, the minute I saw her, I just fell in love with her. She's about 26 inches long. And right now she's wearing a vintage dress, which I thought I would change because it's getting kind of cool now. Um, and it has like a embroidered, actually cross-stitch uh, blue and pink you know in the and way back in the 40s and 30s women a lot of women stayed home so they had a lot of time to um do cross stitch and that so um but i love that dress she came with this i think it's so beautiful look at that with the pink and the little blue so she was ready to be changed. I'll put her down here. She's a long little, she's a long girl. She's about 26 inches, so she can be a little bit of a challenge to change. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try, and I'll show you what I bought for her the other day. I'll move little Emma over a little more. I'm gonna be waking her up pretty soon if, if I keep moving her around like this. We know these are dolls, but we love to role play, and they're a lot of fun. Um, just like guys like to play with their cars and um, model cars and airplanes, it's okay with for us to play with dollies, right? So there's little Emma, and she's sound asleep. Okay, yep, we're on. And I'll show you what little Eleanor is going to wear. I, I bought this um, the other day. I went shopping at a resale shop and uh, I found I'll turn her little head so you can really see this little girl. And uh, I found a really pretty sweater and it's by Second Step. Look at this. And, and it's a yellow, kind of a really bright yellow or kind of a, um, which I love. And it's got little bunnies. Look at with the little blue coats and I know it looks a little eastery but I don't have a lot of clothes for this little girl and I thought well I'll change her to this and um, it's a little cozier for a day like today so she's gonna be wearing that and let's see what else are we gonna be wearing huh? little Emma I better not wake you up um, and she's gonna wear these pants that have yellow flowers and it's kind of light blue and uh, I thought that it kind of go it goes really well together with the little um, with her sweater see it's supposed to go as a set but I fell in love with this outfit so I bought it and 
I paid about four dollars for this which I thought was a bargain so I'm really excited to have it and uh, as a reborn hobby we try to uh, save money wherever we can and uh, I love going to consignment stores and let me know if you feel the same way if you like going to consignment stores and looking for used baby clothes because it's pretty much practically brand new we know how quick a baby outgrows things so um, so it's kind of nice to just be able to go there and pay two three four dollars for something instead of paying twenty dollars or thirty it's really a lot of fun so but yeah, little, uh, I love this sculpt, little Eleanor. I love that name because it's kind of an old-fashioned name. And I I thought she looked kind of old-fashioned, so, and I love names like that. Um, and Emma also is kind of an old-fashioned name. We don't hear that too often. But, so I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I've been busy. My daughter is looking for a car. So the other day we all went and looked, went looking for cars to help her and give her advice. Of course, it's hard when there's four of us, each with a different um, opinion about what car she should get. But uh, she did drive quite a few of them. She drove like three different cars and it's a big decision. So we kind of have to leave it up to her. And uh, up here in, in the northern states of the United States, it gets very wintry and slippery and icy. So we, it's good to have a car that has lots of traction. And um, I'll put her little dress over here. I have to fold it up. Right, little girl. I'm going to leave her onesie on. Look at that. She is a very long baby or toddler. But I really wanted a toddler in my collection, and uh, so I decided to go with this little girl. Um, and she takes about a size uh, size 12 months, so so she's a big girl. Let me see. Yeah, she's showing up good. There we go. And her arms are very long. Look at that; they're very long and. Um, graceful. She has very graceful thing, uh, hands and arms. So she's a little sweetheart. So anyway, um, yeah, so she's been looking for cars and uh, it's a big decision so we don't want to influence her one way or another. It's up to her to decide. Um, she does like the um, Subaru Outbacks. That's her favorite. I guess she really likes those cars. So we'll see what decision she makes. And um, let's see. Let's put your little yellow sweater on first, little girl. There we go. Yep. Here we'll put this sweater on. I'm not gonna put a top underneath because uh, I don't really have a long sleeve top shirt for her. I need to look for some more clothes. I don't have a whole lot and I, I'd like to once in a while dress her in like uh, more uh, clothes from today versus vintage clothes. So I'll kind of go back and forth. If I see something vintage that I love, I'll, I'll make sure to buy it for her. But um, I haven't checked on eBay, but I should really look there too. There might be some really neat dress clothes or dresses that she could wear. So there. Oh, that sweater is gonna fit her perfect. Look at that. Yeah, I was afraid maybe it wasn't gonna fit her, but she does take like a size 12 months. But there we go. Yeah, so it's been, the leaves are really falling now. It's been very blustery. I guess it's, what, the middle of October? So we got to expect that. I If I had my choice, I'd rather have summer. That's my favorite season, if I had to pick. But we just have to take whatever we get. Right, little Eleanor. Yeah, we'll put this on. 
Oh my goodness. Yes. So I had a topic today to talk about uh, that we could chat about. And it's, uh, uh, let's see, where's my little card? The question is, of all the books you've read, which one made the biggest impact on you? Oh, and I really had to think about that question. Uh, and I remember in sixth grade, uh, I was in the, in the English class, and our teacher, uh, every month or so, would choose a, a new book for us to read. And, uh, oh, this little girl, i got to make sure. It is tricky dressing these toddlers. Anyway, every every month or so we would read a new book and she came out with a book called Night to Remember. I don't know if any of you have read that book. It's about the Titanic, the sinking of the Titanic. And I was, it's funny, but I never really liked reading books. You know, when I was in middle school or even high school, reading was just not my thing. I liked reading like magazines, short short stories or that, but not like a whole chapter book. And um, I started reading. I started reading. Uh, oh, we better move you over this way so that they can see you. Here we go. And I started reading the night a night to remember, and I was just very enthralled by it. I. I guess I, I wasn't aware of all the details of that night when the Titanic sank in 1912. And I think it was April of 1912. Um, I should have looked up my facts. But many people died. Um, many passengers died in that ship. I mean, it was supposed to be the unsinkable ship and... Um, and uh, nobody ever thought that it would uh, sink. But I remember as a, a sixth grader reading this book and just imagining what it would have been like to be on that boat. And uh, I just could not imagine the, the terror, the fear that these people were going through, the passengers, and not knowing if they were going to be able to be saved or not. And... Um, so to this day, I just uh, really, you know, count my blessings and I realize, you know, life can be very unpredictable and um, we can't live in fear, but at the same time we have to be, uh, do things that, um, that are safe and, uh, you know, not do foolish things and that. I guess I was always raised to be think about things before I did them and that so uh, but you know with the Titanic these people didn't have a choice they were on, on this boat and it was about to sink and it was women and children first and um, I just cannot imagine what they went through it had to be horrible the feelings that they were experiencing look at her there's little Eleanor, what do you all think? She's just beautiful. I love this outfit. Look at you. I'll comb your hair, brush your hair very gently. There, yes. So yeah, with the Titanic, there were only so many lifeboats. And nowadays, if you go on a big ship, they plan it so that everybody um, can get off safely. And they do drills in the case, in case that something does happen to the ship. But back in 1912, they probably they didn't have all those safety things. So, and the one thing I remember is how the the band kept playing music. They had like an orchestra, and they just kept playing music until the very end. And um, I mean, it just these people really had to sacrifice a lot. But um, and it was, it, I guess it was a beautiful ship inside. I have a book that shows what it was like inside, and very fancy. The rooms were very fancy. The meals were very fancy. Um, and um, 
Yeah, so I'm very fascinated by the Titanic and what actually happened. And I know there's a lot of conspiracy theories, too, of what, why it sank. But, of course, we've heard that it was uh, due to an iceberg. So, but anyway, I wanted you to, if you feel like answering this question, of all the books you've read, which one made the biggest impact on you, um, please share down below. Maybe there's a, a book that you really like. Um, and there are many, many books out there, but maybe you can think of one that you that really stands out. And, uh... Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to come on and show my little Eleanor and little Emma. She's sound asleep. Well, I got my little Care Bear here. Look at, I love the Care Bear. This little bear cheers me up on those gloomy days because it's like the sunshine bear. So it makes me happy. But, um, so yeah, just comment down below and. I'm glad you joined me, and I thank everybody who's been watching my videos, and uh, I'll be making a video soon again, so, and everybody take care of yourselves, and have a wonderful rest of the week. Bye-bye.